Good morning from Trinity Episcopal Church. I hope this morning finds you well. It is Wednesday, May the 27th, and I hope you are all well and safe. This morning we will be doing a service of morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. That service begins on page 77 of the Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Thanks be to God, who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. And now let us turn to page 83 of the Book of Common Prayer and say together, Christ our Passover, page 83. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 101, which may be found on page 730 of the Book of Common Prayer. Page 730. I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. O, oh, when... Will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants. Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house. And those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will... Soon destroy all the wicked in the land, that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This morning's first reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 4. On that day, the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and glory of the survivors of Israel. Whoever is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy, everyone who has re been recorded for life in Jerusalem. Once the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning. Then the Lord will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over its places of assembly a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flaming fire by night. Indeed, over all the glory there will be a canopy. It will serve as a pavilion, a shade by day from the heat, and a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us say together Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah, which is found on page 92 of the Book of Common Prayer. Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading this morning comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 1 through 16. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it is said, when he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. The gifts he gave were, were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, 
to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness in deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knitted together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us say together Canticle 12, which is found on page 89 of the Book of Common Prayer. We will say the invocation at the beginning of the canticle and then say part number three, the people of God, which is found at the bottom of page 89, beginning on page 88. Let us say it together. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of righteousness. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. And now let us turn to page 96 and say together the Apostles' Creed. Page 96. I believe in God, the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the, the, <clears throat> the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, 
you are saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, when your Son ascended into heaven, he set down upon the apostles the Holy Spirit, as he had promised, that they might comprehend the mysteries of the kingdom. Distribute among us also, we pray, the gifts of the selfsame Spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversary. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and to govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and the occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. And now I invite you, your prayers your prayers of intercession, your prayers of thanksgiving. O gracious God, we pray to you this morning for all those who have died, especially the nearly 100,000 souls in this country and more than 350,000 worldwide who have fallen victim to the COVID-19 coronavirus. Grant to them, we pray, eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all who have departed through your mercy Rest in peace. And Heavenly Father, please be with all of the families of those who have died as they walk their mourner's path. Uphold them and fill them with the strength and courage that will be necessary for them as they face each day on their journey through their grief. May they continuously feel the embrace of your boundless love and may their hearts and minds be open to your infinite power to bring them the healing that they seek and need. And dear Lord, may each of those who love those who have died be comforted in the sure and certain knowledge that their loved ones sojourn in this earthly realm has led them to a gracious entrance into the land of brighter light and joy, where they have been received into your gracious arms and now live in eternal fellowship with the saints. And through the presence of the Holy Spirit, may they ever be reminded as they continue in their own earthly pilgrimage in faith that at your call they will be reunited with their loved ones 
and all the saints who have gone before. All this we ask through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now let's turn to page 101 and say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our preservation, creation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That concludes this morning's service of morning prayer. I am so happy that you were able to be with us this morning. I hope you will join uh, Reverend Ann tomorrow at 8.30, um, who will be uh, here leading another session of prayer and meditation. I hope you will also remember that we are having a Compline service each evening at 8.30. Brother Les Paul and uh, Brother Les Roberts and Chris Paul uh, are doing that service for us, and we hope you will join them each evening, Monday through Friday. And uh, we also hope that you will join us on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, for our uh, regular Sunday morning service. So I hope this uh, finds you well. Hope you stay well. I hope you stay safe. I hope uh, if you uh, are supposed to be in, to, to stay in. And we also give thanks for all those who are out there um, who are working on our behalf. Those in the service industry, those who are delivering our mail and packages, those who work in health care, those who work in banks, all those who are working on our behalf, we give thanks for them. And now I ask that the Lord bless you and keep you, that the Lord cause his face to shine upon you, that the Lord be gracious unto you, that the Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>